sweet, perfect day to uh, to show everybody the beauty and uh, and majesty of my island. Love it. Sick. Hi, it's me. It's actually me right here. Um, the only human. I don't know why I would have to clarify that. I was going to do an island tour. <laughs> Looks like it is definitely the worst day possible. It is... Uh, what looks like a hurricane rolling through my island which is great and it's actually the perfect metaphor for everything in my life <laughs> oh wow what time is, even is it it's like very dark very blustery i wonder if it'll get better this is amazing this is perfect i love this i love this okay well let's start in the house how about i want to show you my house so yeah, I'm going to just give you a little tour, give you a little whirl around the island. And uh, I also really want to give everybody their presents because that's something that I do every day. I go around and give everybody usually clothes because I love dressing everyone. Um, but yeah, this is my living room. Certainly, you know, a work in progress, but I'm a basic bitch, like I've told you. So everything is really normal. <laughs> Just wait till you see my office. It's actually like embarrassing how boring it is. There's my bedroom. I have my pet right here. Um, his name is D'Artagnan. And then, of course, I, this is my bad bitches wall. I don't have a picture of Marina or Sherb yet. These are just all my bitches, you know? I want to just collect the posters of all the bitches that I love, you know? So hopefully someday we got we got Miss uh, Miss Anka up there. We're never going to have, I need to take this one down, but I'll do that later. Um, and then, of course, this is the love of my life over here. And he's also on this. There's a lot of little subliminal Kyles. Um, and then I, <laughs> there's another Kyle right there. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's my bedroom. That's where I sleep at night. And then here's my living room again. Okay, let's just get it. Let's just rip the Band-Aid off. Look at this. Why am I like this? This is literally my office. Everybody's so creative on Animal Crossing. And then there's me. Can you believe me? Listen, I just really wanted to have a nice, quiet place to think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is really my office, you guys. I'm probably the only... This is like what your dad does in Animal Crossing. Why am I like this? I didn't have any ideas. I don't know. I got over... I get overwhelmed. You know, I have like so many really cool, like creative things like um i don't even know the word like wallpapers and like floors i'm like whoa i could make this really cool creative idea and instead i just i just get scared and i do a, a plain office because here's my kitchen see i'm a boring girl my kitchen's a little risky right come on give me some credit it's very cute i just want everything to be neat and pretty Look at the rain. Unbelievable. But yeah, you know, it's been a work in progress. Here's that uh, Here's that island, that kitchen island that was in the trash. Thanks a lot, Chevray. Shout out to Chevray for leaving me a huge kitchen island that's worth like 170 grand. Like that is, she could have bought a new house with that. And instead she left me her huge island. So you know what? We actually don't even have, oh my God. Imagine me leaving my piano bench in storage um this is the worst day of my life why did i do this did i take it out of storage did i yeah here it is don't ask about all the cards you know what i'll tell you all about all the cards in just a second but i have a lot of uh a lot of recipe cards in my possession right now that's better look at this See, this is just a cozy place that I live. Um, okay, now we need to go upstairs and downstairs. You know what? Wait till you guys see my downstairs and my upstairs. That's where my creativity really shines, I will say. Everything's normal upstairs. Look at this. See? Would a boring person have a room like this? I don't think so. Hello, I got my baby in the middle, of course. And then I have my other, the other love of my life. I'm just, oh God, I have two ponderings. Amateur move, Amanda. You should have checked that out beforehand. I have three ponderings. Does anybody want a copy of pondering? Because apparently I have three copies. Amazing. But yeah, this is like my KK Slider collection. I would love to like fill up all the walls, but you know. I could have room for like another picture of Kyle too. 
But yeah, you know, this is just like my girls' room. This is like the girls' room. It's like my hangout room. This is where like me and my friends come. We have a sleepover, you know, if I had any. Just kidding. Marina's my friend now, and she's perfect, and I love her. Literally, just like you guys warned me, all she ever does, and I swear to this, you guys know, if you have Marina, you know, all she does all day and all night is sits or stands in the town square and sings. This girl is going places. I swear to God, she's the one who puts in the work that nobody else wants to put in. And here's like my science room. You know, I got to have a coelacanth. I got to have some tropical fish. I wish they had a bigger aquarium, but I digress. Um, you know, I that fish up there is not dead in my head cannon. It's just a model. Okay. Then I got, you know, my trophies, um, got some books, got some bug stuff, my little frog, the love of my life, the true love of my life right here. So this is the town square. This is my boyfriend sitting out in the rain. Literally, honestly, I can't, this is too hot to handle. <laughs> there are two, those two men together in the same town square was too hot to handle. So I have to remove myself from the situation. Um, but yeah, this is my beautiful sunny beach on my island. I can't believe the weather. Can you believe it? I might have to time travel so I can show you guys my island in the sun. I think I need to do that. But first, oh god, let's see what this guy's up to. This is Goose's house. Oh my god, what is going on in here? He is literally wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> during a hurricane in his own house i don't that makes me really uncomfortable it's like that part in Step Brothers where they're like why are you wearing a tuxedo this is like <laughs> not cool what is going on he's trying to make jokes with me right now he keeps wearing those glasses i hate to have to do it to him but i'm giving him a present if only to save everybody's eyes from seeing him in a tuxedo in his house during a hurricane what's going on Goose, you're not fooling anyone. Put on something that you would actually wear in real life, please. Amazing. See? That's better. That's so much better. Oh my god. Can you even believe him? And what did he even give me? I can't read that bottom part because my f stupid face is in the way. But I wanted to, you know, show myself on camera. And at least the bottom half of my face is what I look like if you see me out in public. Because I got my face mask on, like I should. Like you should. Too hot to handle. I have got to get out of here. I at least have to... Oh my god, can you believe her? Can you believe her? Guess what? I have the perfect gift for this nutcase. I have the perfect gift for this mess. For this mess and a half. That's what she is. Look what I got you today, and this is not personal, so don't read into it. I'm just giving this to you because I need to get, I need to free up some room in my storage, and that is the god honest truth. There you go, a little bit better, wouldn't you say? How did I know that she needed a raincoat? Must be that best friend intuition. Don't read into it. Hello, Pierce. Those glasses look really wonky on a bird. It's fine. He's doing his best. So yeah, this is actually how I start most of my days in Animal Crossing. I go out and I give everybody a present. Because I just like to dress them, you know? I don't trust them to dress themselves. And it's just something that makes me feel like I have control over things. At least in this life, if not in my own. Bye, peers. I think that looks decent on you just needed to get it out of my storage to be honest no i i try to put some thought into everybody's gift you know i try to i try to give them something that i think that they would look good in and that's something that i think that the, it's realistic of, for them to wear wait what is going on wait wait do you guys see this wait whoa, whoa, whoa. what is going on why is kk cider here but so is Why is KK Slider here? Wait. What is this? What day is it? What time is it? It's 11 a.m. On... No, that's not what I want. I'm free... Another conspiracy. 
Another bizarre series of events. What, Daisy Mae, what are you doing? Oh, you know what? You know what? I know what happened. I know what happened. Okay, so Daisy Mae is here like she should be. However, KK, KK, King KK, absolute King KK, about to, I'm about to just, hey, what's buzzing? I'm putting on a show today before I hit the road today. Okay, so he's amazing. I love him so much. He's my king. Sorry, Kyle. No, Kyle is my king. Hi. So, um, incredibly, I got so distracted because this situation was just too hot for me to handle that I didn't even explain what was going on. I just figured it out in my own head and then went, just rolled right into like hitting on Kyle and KK and just didn't even touch upon what just happened. So, Basically, yesterday was Saturday. It was the fishing tourney. So CJ had all of his stuff out in the town square and KK was not able to come and perform for us. So he came on a Sunday instead. And so right now it's a Sunday and KK's pr performing in the town square, but Daisy May is also there. And I just hadn't ever had that happen. And it was weird to me because KK usually comes on Saturdays. Anyway, let's keep going. You guys can now see me thirst over these two boys and never touch upon the conspiracy ever because I'm just so used to it at this point. Hmm, interesting. But KK, it's like if you and your husband went to go see like, I mean, who's like your celebrity crush, you know? Like your biggest celebrity crush, like Harry Styles, okay? This is exactly, this is a perfect per metaphor, okay? Because like I would die for Harry Styles. Um, oh my god, he was, oh, did you hear what he just said? He said, I'm so glad to hear your voice. Oh. I was just wondering if I'd run into you. I guess that means I was thinking about you. Lucky me. Kyle, no, I assure you that I am the lucky one. I am actually very shy right now. Whew, okay. Every day, he hits me with stuff like that. Every single day. I swear to God, get you a Kyle. Anyway, this situation is exactly like if me and my husband went to go see Harry Styles in concert. It's like I'm always going to love Harry Styles. I'm always going to wonder what my life would have looked like if it had been different. But at the same time, I respect and love him. And I love my husband. And I love my life with my husband. And I think that we're, everything's good. Everything's perfect. It's just nice to be in the presence of both of them sometimes. And it's nice to be in the presence of both of them when... They're both mature about it, you know? Because my husband is also a huge Harry Styles fan. I got him into Harry Styles, which I love. Isn't that the best? When like, because my husband is like a huge metal head. I am too, to be honest. I was also, I like went through my One Direction stage like everybody else, um, even though I've always been a really big fan of metal, like all types of metal. Is she home? Is the queen home? She is. Um, so I'm a big metal fan. My husband's a big, big, big fan of, fan of metal and just like rock music in general. So not normally the type of person that would like be into Harry Styles, but he's the, he's like this mature person. It's amazing where he's able to just be like, that's good music. Like I can admit that that's good music. He he doesn't feel he doesn't feel too weird and fragile about his masculinity to be like, Harry Styles sucks just because he's like from One Direction. He has never listened to One Direction, but I like put on Fine Line because it's a masterpiece. And he was like, this is so good. What is this? It's like, this is awesome. It's like funky. It's like so many different genres. It's musically like just objectively good. What is this? And I was like, this is Harry Styles. And he was like, I guess I like Harry Styles now. And I'm like, <laughs> mm. so that's my life. I love that. But anyway, KK is my Harry Styles. Kyle's my mat, and everything is right in the world because they like each other, as it should be, as it should be. Marina, I cannot wait to see you in this. You are going to be out there in the rain, bundled up, and it's going to be so cute. Oh, she, oh my god, I love her. I love her so much. She's so cute. She's so cute. I love her. I can't even take this. My heart is not strong enough. Would you look at her? Would you look at her in that little scarf? I need a moment to compose myself looking at her. I'm obsessed with you. 
And that's all there is to it. I love Bianca's house. I love it. She's so cute. Is, did I give her that? Oh, yeah, it's the hairpin. Um, I love it. I love this shelf. Why can't... You know what I love is this freaking bed. I want it so bad. I have not found it yet. It has never been in the nook. The nook emporium. I forget what it's... Oh, nook's cranny. Whatever. Oh, and I love the coffee table. She... I love her house. I guess the good thing about the rain is you guys will be able to see a lot of their houses. Because it's always really cool to me to be able to see other people's houses. Look at this little boy. Just wait till you see what I got him. You're gonna die. His house is really cute. I, I highlighted it on TikTok because it's just a lot. It's notable, to say the least, if you haven't seen Sharp's house yet. If we're not able to see it, go on TikTok and check it out. It's notable. That's a good word for it. Am I really getting a suspender outfit? I love him. I love him. You are going to look dapper in this, but I just want to let you know that you have looked dapper every single time I've laid eyes on you, so... Oh my god, it's too cute. I can't believe it. It kind of looks like a little skirt and I kind of love it. I love it. It's perfect. He's perfect. He needs an umbrella. Okay, so Daisy May's here. Amazing. I don't even know if I'm going to buy any turnips right now. This is too much. This rain. Ugh, I haven't even begun to do an island tour. Imagine that. I don't know if I can do this, people. I, I think I'm gonna finish giving everybody their gifts. I mean, it's not gonna take me long to, to just bring you through my island, so. Here's Phoebe's house. Oh, I gotta tell you. Um, So I ordered Blanche's Amiibo. This is gonna be my first Amiibo card that I've ever had. And um, and so what I'm gonna do, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure, I've never used an Amiibo ever, but I'm pretty sure that when you have somebody come down to your campsite with the amiibo you can kick out whoever you want which is like ooh, that's tea i love that but you guys know i've always as much as i love phoebe i do i love her and i can't recommend her enough i think she's a wonderful sisterly lady however i think blanche is a snatched bay queen goddess sickening ass tundra swan and so i need her I need to prioritize her once and for all, and uh, and I miss her. And so I'm going to have Blanche come live where Phoebe's currently living. Coveralls with arm covers. I can't imagine that being too cute, but we'll see. We'll certainly see. Um, but yeah, anyway, Blanche is going to come and live there once it comes in the mail, and Phoebe's going to leave. Sad as it is, it needs to happen. It's the natural order of things. It has to happen. Um, Kyle, are you going to sit there all day so that I can't give you your present? Cute. I love him. It's fine. Did I even check what was in the store today? What do we got? What do we got for sale at the Nook Emporium? Well, Bella's here, so I can't even give her her gift or see her house. Her house is uh, very confusing, to say the least. Hmm, what do I want? I don't think I want any of this. A gas can, imagine that. What else do we got? This is not an island tour. This island tour is shaping up to be a, a mess, to say the least. I think I'm really gonna have to time travel because I can't just show you my island when it's a downpour a literal hurricane it's so bad it's just perilous the conditions are inclement so i think i might just have to skip a day which means no turnips for me thanks let's see what the sisters got the cheetah girls cheetah sisters i love my girls you know i love my girls I know you make fashions made lovingly by Claw. I know. I know. I like to look at all the clothes. Oh my god. I can't do this. I have to actually give Kyle this. <gasps> Kyle is gonna... Oh my god. Should I give him this one or this one? Because he already has this, which is... <laughs> I can't even handle it. Which one should I give him? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess I gotta get I gotta give him one a day. Oh my god, this is my lucky day. I guess this day just turned out to be something else. Something else entirely. Ooh, I cannot wait to see him in that. Oh my god. And yeah. They have got to patch this. They have got to patch this. Can you believe that you have to go back and forth into this dressing room until you just have everything that you need? Can you believe it? In what world? In what world? I, I'm going to buy this just to have it. Just in case, you know? Who else would I give it to? I don't know. I don't want anybody else to have Kyle's style. Lord knows Goose been trying. I am not going to let Goose get a hold of this. Nobody needs to let Goose get a hold of any of these vests. Oh, Kyle's going to look so good. I can't even wait. I don't even think I'm ready. I'm definitely not ready. How could I possibly be ready? Oh, shit. Don't you hate when you do that? Damn it. I hate when I do that. Look at me. What a clown. What an absolute clown. Is the circus in town? Because she's a clown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, but Kyle is no longer getting this. I was going to give him these really cool black suspenders, but actually he's not getting them. He's getting his new vest. But also, like, I think I needed his time travel to the next day. I don't think I can handle this. I don't want you to, I don't want you guys to see my island like this. It's in, it's in disarray. This is awful. You know, it's a hurricane. I don't know if I can handle showing you my island that I'm proud of in these conditions. I'm going to go ahead and give Bella her gift because I just have to every single day. I got to give these gifts away so that I can clear out this storage situation. I'm trying. You know, I, yes, I am a hoarder, but I am trying. I'm addressing the problem. I'm admitting that there's a problem. And I'm trying to get rid of as much stuff as possible and I'm putting it to good use. You know, I don't want to have to just sell it because I want to see my villagers wearing it. So, but yeah, no, once I give, um, once I give this to her, I think I'm just going to go home and time travel because I also just want to see, I want to see Kyle wear his thing when it's not a literal hurricane um because it is a tropical storm it is like this is a category five situation right now outside i don't even think i've ever seen it this bad and normally i kind of like the rainy days i think it's fun to see everybody like with their umbrellas and like in their little rain jackets but what is it what do i have what could i possibly have in the mail what could she possibly have to say to me imagine sending your friend a letter because they're not talking to you what is she talking about? Is she... Is she okay? Sometimes when I'm writing notes like this one, I, you know, forget what I was writing and it just goes nowhere and for a while. And the next thing you know, I've sent it. Does that ever happen to you? Pom pom. No, it doesn't. And it shows that that happens to you a lot, to be honest. Look at me. Wait. Listen, did you not see my office, Happy Home Academy? I swear to God, everything changed once the Fire Nation attacked. I swear to God. This is not a good day and where's the avatar when we need him most <laughs> where is he i wonder is it raining again it's july what what a world what a world what am i supposed to do what if i was the alien from signs honestly sometimes in the right light that's like one of my main things that i like invoke like all the time i'll look in the mirror and i'll just be like the alien from signs in my house what a world. How could this be happening? And then it's just me. And if I was the alien from Signs, I couldn't even, this wouldn't be accessible to me. What the hell? Unbelievable. I hate this. I can't believe it's raining again. I want to show you my, I gotta just do it in the rain, I guess. Or time travel again. Let's just, you know what? Fuck it. I don't time travel a lot, but when I do, it's because I want to show you guys my island on a sunny day. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it's too much to ask but I could be wrong. Okay, wait, no, I didn't even close that fucking thing. Amanda, what are you doing? And now I have to wait for it to load again. Amazing. This is shaping up to be a great island tour. <laughs> no, but I know you guys want to see it. I want you to see it, and I want you to see it in all of its sunny glory. 
Um, because that's how it's best, you know, that's how it's best intended, that's how it's intended to be consumed, you know? It's kind of like when you have like a wine that's supposed to be served at room temperature, but you put it in the- Yes, we did it! Balance has been restored. I can't wait to show you guys my island because guess what? Just wait. I'm gonna start it off with showing you guys, uh, showing you guys something I'm quite proud of. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys can like take notes you know here's my girl give me the scoop wouldn't it be cool if we had a camper no of course not what is isabel's sign when's her birthday i'm gonna look it up because she said her horoscope and i'm like girl i gotta know i think okay i think she might be a virgo or a She's gotta be a Virgo, Isabel. What are you? She's a Sagittarius. She's a Sagittarius, ladies and gentlemen. Isabel, of all people. I don't know why, I can't really see her as a Sagittarius. She just seems like she's very, she just seems like she's very by the book, you know? I don't know. I guess she's, a, she's very truthful. That's the one thing I allow myself to have. It's it's kind of funny. Okay, first of all, beautiful, gorgeous day. Second of all, I like I said earlier, so there was a lot of people who like didn't get my sarcasm in the last video and were like, oh my god, I can't believe she thinks that this is actually magic. Like I just have like a I have like a very high level uh, sarcasm thing going on where I just kind of I just kind of like get into a, a a narrative and I go with it I'm okay I promise I'm not calling um any any priests out I'm good I'm fine I'm I'm, I'm good I understand how coincidences work <laughs> I do think that that was a sick ass coincidence though you have to admit that was cool that was cool and like I said like I um you know sometimes I manifest things casually even though I don't really believe in any spiritual anything I'm a very boring person and it's not even by choice like I, I love like I love woo woo people I think that I think it's really cool to like believe in crazy stuff I love that I wish I could believe in ghosts if oh if the world had ghosts that would be awesome if the world had aliens that would be awesome oh labels here uh hi hello but first I gotta show you this but anyway, the one thing I allow myself to have without any second thoughts, like I don't try to think into it because I enjoy it and it's fun for me, okay? It's fun for me in the same way that like, in the same way that like I enjoy fictional works of art, but I get really into them and I have like this thing that like this is a fact, like it is a fact that, you know, the Fire Nation attacked and everything changed. That's a fact in my world. It's a fact. That's how I look at horoscopes. Like I don't understand it i'm not gonna pretend i understand why or how it's so accurate but it's so accurate i am such a libra it's not even funny you're gonna sit there and you're gonna tell me i'm not a libra really interesting uh because i'm such a libra my husband is such a capricorn it's not even funny he's a raging capricorn my ex i didn't know this until we broke up i didn't realize like what gemini's were like <laughs> he's a gemini okay he was a gemini that's all I have to say. My friend's a Scorpio and she's like a raging Scorpio. I have another friend who's a Taurus, raging Taurus. One of my best friends, another Libra. It's clear to see why she's one of my favorite people. It's just, it's just weird, you know? It's just weird. Okay, ready for this? I want to show you guys what you're in for. I've worked very hard on this. What did you say, Isabel? Did you say it was a five-star island? <laughs> That's right. So you're about to see my five-star island. Uh, people dream about living here. People are clambering to get onto this island, okay? Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. I might have to like move my face. Oh, that's not possible, okay. No worries. This royal throne of bugs, I can't even imagine who must have sent this comment in. Um, this royal throne of bugs, this, I can't read it because it's behind my face, but I'm gonna say sheltered, uh, tethered, weathered, no, I don't know. This blank aisle, this hive of majesty, this infested plot, this earth, this terrarium, sanitarium, I don't know, this Molokai. Listen, a flick, 
is my boy, okay? Flick's my boy. I think that Flick has like such chaotic energy. I love him. He is so chaotic. We got a perfect score again. Show some respect. <laughs> keep doing what we're doing. Uh, also, the reason I keep messing with my bangs is because they just reached the point where they're like not long enough to tuck back, but they're too long. And obviously I can't go see my hairdresser because it's a pandemic. So I'm having a huge difficulty over here. It's fine. But anyway, let's look in the trash because apparently sometimes we got good stuff in there. Nope, 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 nope. Cassette player, nope, trash, okay. Anyway, let's get on with this. So this is a five-star island, ladies and gentlemen, which is why I have all of those uh, recipe cards because I had to pick them up in order to get my five star back, which is not favorable. But anyway, let's take a look around my place. I got my turn up area. This is my turn up field. Got a little scarecrow in there. That's where I store my turn ups. Got my little pool in my backyard. I also have like a little little lounge chair back there. That's my backyard. Um, you know, got my stuff. Got my little steps. A couple of fruit trees. And then we have, we go down here. Go through the the cherry walkway this is our first cul-de-sac so here's where kyle is can't wait to give him that shirt this is what i call dinosaur plaza because i finally finished my t-rex just by myself too you guys all came through for me thank you so much so many of you offered me a t-rex tail I just don't even know what I did to deserve you. Thank you all so much. I would have taken it if I hadn't found one like right away after I complained about it. Here's Phoebe's house. This is Bella's house. Um, and then we've got Kyle's house right over here by the edge of the, of the river. And then this is Dinosaur Plaza. So we've got like this little bench here and it's got like some fossils and of course I will remove this flower. But it rained so there's gonna be like a lot of wayward uh rogue flowers unfortunately i hate i hate to see it but whatever but yeah this little area has got like some fossils because it's like you know it's kind of like a plaza that you would see like walking up to a museum you know they've always got like stuff going on outside and we've got like this little beach here a little beach towel it's fine the museum is doing great i have all the i have all of the fossils i have let's just go in real quick okay um I got all the sharks, all the fossils, a lot of bugs. I would show you around, but I mean, I don't want to spend too much time. Uh, one thing that you noticed last time, I just want to like publicly air out this horrible mistake. Okay, so there is clearly, as you can see, no art gallery to, to be seen. No art. I don't even know. Is that where it goes up here? I haven't even seen. Yeah, I'm assuming that's where it would go because that's what would make sense to me. <laughs> I wouldn't know because I don't have an art gallery because because I'm I don't even have a word strong enough to describe what I am, but I um long story short, I got my first painting from Red when he came. Also, here's like I have like these little butterfly models like on these things. I'm not sure how I like this next part. I'm I'm it's growing on me. But basically these butterflies are out here because it's like a part of the museum, you know, they're like out there to like show that this is a museum and I just think they're cute, you know, they look like they're just like flying. And then we have a plant store of some sort, like this is like a little plant store, you know, like plants for sale. I like it because I love the plants and I just wanted to like put them all in one place. I love, pl I love a good plant. But anyway, back to the museum thing. So, and I'll show you like kind of my shores and stuff. So, um, basically I bought the first thing from Red. This is like a little place where visitors can come get their cards and I had all of my cards out here for all of my friends and all of you when you kind of, when you guys uh, come visit my island because I'm gonna set up something uh, to make it possible for you guys to do that. So that'll be fun, stay tuned for that. But anyway, long story short, I got my first painting from Red. I sold it by accident without thinking. You know how you just sell everything? I didn't even look, I just sold a bunch of stuff and I accidentally sold the painting. Then Red gave me a second chance to redeem myself. He sold me the same painting for a higher price. So you would think I'd be a little more careful. I think I spent, I don't know, I mean, a couple hundred grand on it, you know? You know, Red prices. And I sold it again. I hawked it again by accident because I have ADD and I don't actually pay attention to anything. And 
that's what I did. And now he comes to my island frequently. He comes pretty frequently, but he doesn't, I can't get a, I can't get a situation where I could um, buy anything. I can't trigger that situation. So he just comes and he walks around. He's like, hmm, I just bought a trawler that I think would be really good for an art gallery. <laughs> and that's like all he says, but he doesn't say anything else. And he doesn't try to sell me anything else because he knows that I am just going to sell it for like 200 bells, even though I bought it for like the price of a house. Here's my little, this is my clay shop. So it's like where you would make some clay and then like, Here's some pots and stuff. It's like just like a little clay shop, you know? I don't know how I feel about this stuff. I feel like it's super cluttered, but at the same time, I like it, you know? Like, I like that this is like a little plant shop, and I like this is like a little clay shop. I don't know. And then, oh my god, this is out of whack. My god, I'm just not going to deal with it right now. This is Daisy's house. Let's actually go see Daisy. I don't think I got to give her her present yesterday. Let's go see Daisy. And I gotta roll up my sleeves. It's getting hot. This is my um anaconda tattoo. This is the only only tattoo I have right now but it's of the anaconda oh I just don't even know how to show it on the on the thing it's of the anaconda that I found in the Amazon I'll have to I'm gonna make more videos where you're gonna be able to see me but I'll show it to you then hi Daisy what are you making she always makes me feel really bad for I wouldn't know peach hat is it a peach hat yeah, and I honestly might not even have room for your stupid peach hat. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, okay. I'm just going to have to make room. In the meantime, this is Daisy's house. And then you go up here. And this is my little concert area. So I've got like a little rock concert area. Look at this. This is just where you go see a rock concert. And then we got Bubblegum KK blasting. Um, and you, you know, you're just gonna have the whole band. We're gonna have Kid over here. We're gonna have, uh, gonna have our, our, uh, who else was in the band? Kid, Zell, Kyle. And we needed, like, a drummer, too. Who's gonna be the drummer? Wolfgang. Or, I don't know. Not Wolfgang. That's too chaotic. We gotta have, like, I don't know. I don't know who the drummer is. I guess we'll find out someday. But anyway, here is, this is, like, the recreational area. You know, this is, like, our park. This is where we go to play. Then we've got the gym for all of the meatheads. This is the gym. And then over here is the campsite. So we've got our little campsite and then we've got this little campfire. Oh, we got a little lily of the, what is this called again? A lily of the, a lily of the mountain. I don't remember what it's actually called. It's called a lily of the mountain, lily of the hill, lily of the valley. I was, I had like a, you know, it's a, it's an ecosystem. I knew it was a setting of some sort, Lily of the something. Anyway, so we've got like, um, this is like a little, you know, like a little thing, because this is our botanical garden. This is kind of where I keep like my extra flowers right now. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been here in a long time. Um, we've got a little observation area, a little, uh, little windmill over there. And then we've got this little park this little plaza. This reminds me of like the place that they go in Princess Diaries too. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. And then you go down here and you guys ready for this? All of my pride. So this is the pink flowers. We got some pink flowers. I'm not running. Don't worry. I would never. Then we got purple. Then we got blue. It's like a rainbow. Then we got yellow. Then we got orange, red. And this is my botanical garden. So I guess all the way through, you know, you just kind of walk through it. It's a botanical garden and you just got all of these lovely flowers, lots of hybrids, got a little place to sit. And then you go up here. We'll admit this place is a little rough right now. This is a little rough, so bear with me. Right now, I eventually I want to have it be like all black and white flowers. I think that would be, you know, cause I don't really know where to put all the black flowers except for by like the, the goth people's houses. So I'm going to put like black and white flowers eventually once I get all my hybrids together. And then we got a, like a little cafe, you know, a little cafe. I still have like, this is a really open, empty place. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Sparkling polar. This is tart cherry limeade. I'm obsessed with like, I try not to drink as much like out of a can, but I'm really, it's a huge problem. I'm like, I think I have like an oral fixation or something. I just always have to be like drinking, like working, not like, not like drinking, drinking, but like, just like working on something, you know? I just like to be working on something. That is way too much information 
for you guys. Um, but anyway, so here's like, I love to come up here and observe meteor showers, but I also um, need to, I need to, this area still needs work. And then this, I made this because it reminds, it's like, it's my tribute to Kyle's paw. Look, it looks just like Kyle's paw and Kyle's paw is like my favorite thing. His paws are so cute. So this is the shape of my heart right here. And then you go down here and it's the orchard. This is my orchard. Ugh, this rock was not here yesterday. Remind me to get rid of that. So here's my orchard and this is where I grow my non-native fruits. Of course, everybody's gotta have their orchard. This is Sherb's house. This is Bianca's house. This is Marina's house. I love this little cul-de-sac. I think it's so cute. And it's like, you know, this is like where all the unproblematic people are stored. I just like to keep them above their peers and away from the drama. So we've got that. Then we'll come down here. And then we're going, uh, we're going right into the heart of town. So I have Pom Pom and Pierce. They live right next door to each other. She's got Miss, Mrs. Flamingo. He's got Mr. Flamingo. Is that a balloon? Girl, I don't even have room for this. I don't even have room for this. Amazing. Yeah, see, I don't have room for it. I gotta go hawk some stuff. Okay, I just put all of those cards back to make some room, and I'm just gonna take a quick look at some of these to see if I want them. What is this? What on earth? Oh my god, I think I already have that. I'm gonna give it to Sherb someday. I love dressing Sherb. I have a lot of fun with it. Let's see, what's this? Number four, not me. Couldn't be me. I don't know who number four is, but it could not be me. <gasps> there it is. Oh, I can't wait to give that to Kyle. Um, uh, then we got, mm -mm. Nope, I don't need that. What is this? I was gonna give this to Kyle. Wouldn't Kyle look cute in that? Uh oh. I'm gonna give that to him eventually, but for now, but for now, I got one thing on my mind and one thing only, and that's showing you my island. Ugh, let's avoid this. Oh, he's got fleas too. That's always embarrassing. <gasps> oh my God, he's so cute. Hi. He's not gonna let me give him anything though. Oh, he's doing yoga. Okay. We love a meditating boy. Goose, can you leave us alone, please? Thank you. Okay, so this is a little picnic area. I have to do this. This is just something I have to do. <gasps> That's not something I have to do. My God. What a fool. What a fool. <sighs> okay, here we go. This is like the little picnic area. Oh, now I can give Kyle his present. He's going to look so snatched. Oh, he's going to look so good. He's going to look so good. He's, he's wearing his little ripped and tattered little emo boy shirt okay oh my god it's gonna be so good okay is that it yep that's it i can't wait to see him goose over here looking like a fool and then this man walking around can you imagine how oh how insecure goose has got to be feeling right now a sweet man giving me cream and sugar amazing look at him oh my god we did it again Oops, I did it again. Wait, I don't, bl I don't blame you. I know, I don't either. I just, I'm just saying hi. I just think he's working. He's always complimenting me. How many times have I told you he's always complimenting me? Goose, meanwhile, is just covered in fleas. He's absolutely infested with fleas. Amazing. Couldn't be better. Ah, uh, there's Pierce. Do I have something for Pierce? No, I gave it to him yesterday. There's Pierce. So that's Pierce's house. That's Pom Pom's house. Oh, there's that present I needed to pick up. And then we've got like a little place to sit. We've got some flowers infesting my life. Then you cross the bridge over to this area. This is my little hybrid area where I keep all my hybrids, where I'm trying to grow some hybrids. You know how it goes. And then we've got a money tree for me. Okay. Well, I don't mind if I do. And now I can chop it down. Then we've got, okay, this is like my little, my little bamboo forest, zen garden, but I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I worked really hard on it. It's a little cluttered, but I like it. I love these little trees. Oh my God. They give you like, so there's like little, I guess it's from like, it's probably from, it's like from a holiday, from like a holiday from a country, I guess an Asian country. I haven't done enough research on this. 
so I don't want to talk too much about it but it's very cute I think what what I'm what I'm perceiving this as is that they're like little wishes and little notes on these bamboo trees from people that I know and love and I love it it's very cute May the island continue to flourish socially and economically. You know who wrote that. Mr. Tom Nook. Mr. Jeff Bezos himself. Amazing. Grant me the sea legs of the sturdiest sailor. That must be Gulliver. Not that I care. Then we've got... It's very cute to see like exactly who, who wrote what. It's very cute. One wonder what Kyle wrote. He probably wrote, I love Amanda. I want to be a superstar. Wonder who wrote that? <laughs> pom pom. Couldn't have been me. But anyway, yeah, here's my little this is my little Zen garden, right? You got up there. I'll go back up there once I'm done reading all these like little notes because they're so cute. What else we got over here? Okay, May the Island <sighs> Tom Nook again, making it all about him. That's gotta be Tom Nook. Let's see if you can read it and get a different one. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is Nook Twins right here. This has got to be Nook Twins. May I follow in the footsteps of my mentor with great success? This has got to be Timmy. Is it Timmy that's that's always talking and Tommy that's always not being able to talk because Timmy's talking talking over him? Is that Timmy? I get him mixed up. I wouldn't know because the little one doesn't ever get to say anything. He just always has to say like whatever the other one's saying. That must be the, the little suck up. The little suck up himself trying to be the next Tom Nook. And you know what? I, I bet he'll do it. I want to see what Kyle said. An orange piece. I want to be a hero and a snack would be nice too. That has to be Sherb. Little Sherby boy. That is definitely my little baby Sherb. So then you come down here, you know, you got like a little, sit, little place to sit by the, by the lake, by the, you got a snapper on the rock basking and getting some nice UVB rays. Who said this? What's this? I still dream of walking the red carpet. That has got to be my girl, Bianca, with the scented piece of Tanzaku. Is that how you say that? That has got to be my girl, Bianca. It's an unusually long Tanzaku that seems to be a wish list with rad and sweet scribbled in the margins. I know exactly who that is. That has got to be my husband, Kyle, because he loves his material things, as we know. Um, and he's just, he's just so cute. He's so cute, rad and sweet. He's my boy, he really is. Okay, so I got these little like zen garden things. I don't know. I haven't done like a zen thing on this yet. But I got this golden chair, very, very aesthetic. And then I've got this little zen garden thing over here. And then I've got these like, this little pond. And then you go up here and you're in my orchard, cute. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I like it. It's just very cluttered for me. And, uh, and I'm not like a huge fan of clutter, but at the same time, like this is, it's very cool, right? I think it's cool. I think it came out okay. It's a work in progress. You know, we got a little gong over here. A little gong. Get the little raccoon guy. And then you go up here and you got this little like thing. I don't really know what I'm doing with this yet. I might want to put my telescope over here or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's just kind of like a little waterfall thing that I just wanted to make. Very chaotic. But it's cool. You know, I think it came out nice. You know, I think it came out nice. It's like a little, little, oh wow, not what I meant to do, but I mean, hey, I did it. Yeah, it's like a little waterfall thing, you know? It's scenery, okay? Not everything has to have a purpose. Some things can be just to make people happy, okay? Then we got like a little sandcastle over here. We've got our little lighthouse over here with the little fence. Everything's little. I'm like, everything. <laughs> This the little shell over here. We got a little bush over here. We got like a little stair over here. Shut up, Amanda. Shut up. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Cake by the ocean. Am I right? Come on. That's where you'd have it. That's where you'd eat it. We got a little soccer field, like a little impromptu soccer field. I don't know. Um, what is that? Oh, I thought, oh my god, you guys. Wait. Yeah, wait, what is that? Wait, oh god, okay. Do you guys see what I saw? I thought it was this big winged thing, like a damselfly or something, but it's actually just a cicada screaming away, which like same mood, all of the, all of the above. Look at Kyle getting a drink. He is too cute. One thing that I've noticed is that both 
Okay, Kyle, I love Kyle's voice. <gasps> what is going on? No, you guys, my, oh my, God, my boyfriend is talking with my ex. They look like they're really getting into a heated argument. This is not good. See, this is really my life. Like people are like, how is there so much drama on your island? I don't know, you tell me. Oh my God, this does not look good. There is pointing, he's got fleas. This is not looking good. I think that Kyle's being very rational. He looks like he's definitely being stern, but he looks like he's being rational. And Goose is actually taking some of the... Oh, God. What? What is this? Uh, what is this? What is this? What could you possibly have said to my boyfriend? <laughs> you know what? I don't blame him. I agree. Have you seen Goose, Kyle? Because I've seen him, and I don't think that that's like a... I think it's pretty easy to impress Goose. He's complimenting my ex. Oh, you know what? That's very mature. That is mature. That's a mature man right there. That is a man who is comfortable with his masculinity. He is, get you a man like Kyle who can compliment your ex and your ex can compliment him because he can't even help it. You know what, Kyle? I'm so glad that he treated you like the king you are. And you know what? Okay, so Kyle's voice is very cute to me. I think that it's perfect. I think it's probably like the, it's like the best voice in the game. It's just a good voice. <laughs> I love you. He's like so funny. He's so funny. I love him. I love him. I'm in love with him. But then, okay, but then honestly, every time I, I talk to Goose, I will admit there's, there's something I'm just going to admit to you guys. Don't tell anybody. This is between me and you. And it doesn't mean anything. It does not mean anything. It's just an objective fact. Where the hell did that stupid... There you are. Okay. This stays between us. Okay. I'm serious. Pinky promise. Pinky promise me. Goose's voice gives me the tingles every time. His voice is... I mean, it's what got me in the bag to begin with. This is why I went down a really dark road with, uh, with a relationship with Goose. It's all, it's all in the voice. It really is. Listen to his voice. It's just different. I've never heard another character that has the same voice as Goose. It, it's different. Let's talk. Just listen to his voice. He's just got like this little rasp to it. Kyle's watching us, but it's fine. He, he trusts me. Look, he's also hunting for bugs. It's fine. I like to have him in sight. He's just got this little like rasp to it. You know what I mean? Just hits different. I don't know. I can't read half of it because my face is in the way. My dumb stupid face. I'm just gonna say yes it is. Um, we're not gonna hang out. We're not gonna be hanging out, so that won't be happening. I'm trying to get the fleas off ya, to be honest. And you just keep trying to talk to me and have me listen to your, whew, your uh, interesting voice, your unique voice. Okay, here we go, nope. It can be hard sometimes to get the fleas. Here we go. That itch is finally gone. Yeah, you guys need to start taking frontline every month. I gotta get Kyle some trifecta. So yeah, Goose's voice though. Do you feel it? You feel it tingling? Goose's voice? Eww. Oh my god, LaBelle checked him out. She would. She would, honestly. I mean, who wouldn't? But this is my man right here forever. Yeah, basically, you know me. You know I'm obsessed with you. Someone just left this. <laughs> Kyle, does that seem out of place to you? Then this is like a little, you know, like a little extra plaza. This is like, this is the town square that we don't get to have fights and drama. This is like the non messy. This is the classy town square. This is where you come when you want to go to the town square, but you don't want to go to the town square you know what i mean i knew i needed a backup because anything goes here anything goes and label i will be back for you schmoopy <laughs> don't worry um so anyway i think that, is that it no that can't be it is that it yeah i think that's it right oh there's a bottle if you wanna be with me you know I had to sing at least a little bit. A little apiary over here. A little apiary for bees. But anyway, yeah, I think that's my island. So, uh, so that's it. That's the tour. That's the tweet. Um, if you guys liked this, then cool. Awesome. Let me know. If you hated it, let me know. So yeah, this was kind of a mess, but you know what? That's me. I'm the mess. 
I am mess. I'm trying to remember what everybody says. Uh, yeah, you know, subscribe to the thing. Um, with the thing and then some days you'll see stuff come up when I post it. I think that's how it works. I don't know. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. And of course the code for this gorgeous thing will be in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye.